this is Sound Out here, back with another Transformers review. This time with the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class, Blaze Master. Um, this is a Wave 4 Deluxe, so he is kind of hard to find right now because he just came out. Um, I don't believe anyone's reviewed him yet. I think I'll might be the first. I don't know. I haven't seen any reviews of him. Um, anyway, so you can see Blaze Master here is a helicopter, a Channel 7 Action News helicopter. Um, and actually takes a different um, pa a course than most helicopter transformers. Like, you know, the blades would be on the arm, on one arm, or they'd be on the back, or, you know, other kinds of things like that. Um, which is kind of the traditional way helicopter transformers work. Um, as you can see, it does have a spinning blade. Um, just press this little blue lever, and it spins really nicely. I mean, it's not like uh, Blackout or Grinders where you press it, and it, or, or in, and Evac too, um, or World, all the different names of that mold, where you press it and it stops after it clicks up a little bit, but this one just spins freely. Um, you press push. Now it's showing up like whatever helicopter blades show up on camera lens. It looks smooth in real life, but you can see how, um, how you can see the part there, and, uh, but it's really, well, it just came off. <laughs> now, his transformation um, does involve that, but it, it's really, that's really cool that he has a, one of those free-forming blades. He's got a couple of fins back here. It says 7 News. Um, he's meant to, this doesn't, part doesn't spin, but he is meant to be a Channel 7 new, Action News a helicopter. He's got an uh, Autobot symbol there. It says the Channel 7 Action News on the other side. His head's inside there, um, and his landing gear do fold up. Uh, there's these two here. But this one doesn't fold up for whatever reason. Um, I haven't figured it out yet. Um, that's just a fun gimmick. Um, so let's get on to the transformation. To start the transformation, we're going to pull off the blades, um, fold them up, and you notice this little line in the center here. Well, you want to split it along that. These will go on either arm, um, which was very, which is very unique about this figure. Um, now you want to start off by folding this part down and splitting these parts up here uh, along with all this here. Um, splitting this apart here will help. Um, yeah, there we go. Right there. He he's, he's doesn't have too many panels, which is nice. You want to pull this, uh, t this tail section down um, like that. Then you want to come in here and you bring out his legs and rotate his foot out. Uh, down and bring out his legs. Um, from here it gets a little bit difficult. You want to fold these uh, fold these panels, these panels will want will go upward like this. Then you want to come and split these panels out. Now you can see his head is there. Um, now you can start forming the robot. You want to bring this through under here, then you want to turn it around. Uh, well, I guess you get, and then bring it back through if you did what I did, which was not mistaking. Um, for that, and then you can take this part, it folds up into here. The nose cone. Um, it folds into this little hole in there. Uh, now you want to take these arms and bring them. Well, you want to bring them down. They will like to pop off. I haven't figured out a surefire way of getting this um, around, but you want to pull it around, and <laughs> you pretty much do this. Um, I'm going to fold that up. Um, I'll try to keep it attached here. Oh, you want to flip out his thumb when you have that piece open. Now, you can leave them open like this, or you can fold them around, which I think looks better um, in robot mode. And bring it down and around. That ball joint will love to pop off. It, it's addicted to popping. Um, we'll bring the arm down, and then split it, uh, or take it and rotate it. I'll try to get this without popping it off this time. There's some thunder. wonder why. It's dramatic effect. Um, that's actually caused by natural causes. Um, then pull that down and all that. Uh, get a little bit tricky here, but not too bad. Um, so now that I have this, I'm going to fold this part up. It's just going to collapse into itself. Uh, into, well, it should collapse into itself. Uh, this part will come up here. I'm going to split it. Bringing, um, these parts in. Oh, bring these parts, clip these parts out, and rotate them down and fold them in, um, like that. 
and then it, it's confused. Oh, oh, that's right. That's backward, which would collapse this part into here. Um, should bring this up and form the little backpack. Uh, now you want to fiddle with this, uh, kind of straighten everything out, um, revealing his head some more. Um, bringing the arms down so that they look good. Uh, kind of confusing transformation. If you want a puzzle former that is fun, you need something challenging. Because um, if you get jolt from this wave, uh, which I'll review later, uh, he is not so challenging. Um, not as challenging as this guy. So this guy is probably one of the more complex um, deluxes for so far. Um, in the, At least in the wave. Um, so once you have that, you want to take the blades, the one with the um, peg there goes back into the, the spinner, like this. Uh, now you could, if you want to, pull a little evac uh, from Cybertron evac, put that on there, um, or more appropriately put it on the other arm um, to kind of give it symmetry. Uh, put it over here. And there you have Blaze Master in his robot mode. Um, very cool figure. Uh, as you see, the transformation involved, and you will get lost in it a lot of the time. Um, you can also, if you want to, uh, bend these parts back to give him chicken legs, um, even though he's an Autobot. Um, I guess I'll do that. That'll make him look a little bit better. And I'll, I'll lower him a little bit so he's not so, so extremely tall. He looks a little bit better that way, I think. Yeah. Um, there we go. So, anyway, um, so he's pretty tall for Deluxe. He's got um, pretty good height over Starscream. Um, for for the transformation, or for the articulation, he's got a ball joint neck. Uh, it's very, very solid, uh, so you can't can't move it too much. He's got these ball joint shoulders, the ball the ball joint at the elbow too, and he's got the hand articulation, but kind of blocked by these panels here. Um, then for legs, he's got uh, hip joints. He's got rotation here, which is his mech alive um, that moves this little window around this gear. Um, rotation here also, and then he's got the different leg joints and the ball joint um, feet. So you can get him some pretty cool poses. Um, Especially with his blades, um, like this. Um, like that. So you can get some pretty cool buzzes if you want to. You can could spin this again. Um, get a homage to Cybertron Evac. Um, but there's Blaze Master. Overall, I would recommend Blaze Master. He's one of the uh, better uh, helicopter transformers out there. Well, he's not one of the best helicopter transformers. My favorite so far has been uh, Blackout. Um, that, that's the best helicopter transformer, I think. At least from what I have. Um, top spin, the top spin uh, from Nexus Maximus, uh, you know, that mold, uh, is probably my second favorite. This guy's my third because he's, un he's really unique. Uh, Cybertron Evac being fourth. Um, for all helicopter transformers that I own. Um, so you can see he, he's pretty cool. Um, I like how they gave him the symmetrical um, blades on his arms. Um, I was expecting uh, flamethrowers, and you can pretend that these little things here were flamethrowers if you need some reason to draw his name. Um, sadly, he wasn't in the movie, but he, I think there was a helicopter transformer that was very similar to him in the video game. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, till next time, this is, um, oh, let me give shoutouts first. Uh, in the sidebar, I will link to two reviewers that do great videos, Toy Dude 101 and Climax Jumper. Go check out their videos, too. Um, so that's all for now, so till next time, this is Sandout saying goodbye.